Meet Angela Benton, founder and CEO of New Me Accelerator. New Me has helped hundreds of entrepreneurs launch businesses and raise funding from investors. Constantly thinking outside of the box, she also runs B20, the premier online publication for African Americans interested in technology and new media. Find out why? She's the boss. My name is Angela Benton. I'm from the DC area, Northern Virginia, and I got into tech, wow, I started out as a graphic designer and then taught myself how to code and then launched a site called Black Web 2.0 where we covered entrepreneurs. What made me want to start Black Web 2.0 was I just saw no African Americans in technology. It's like I woke up one day, I had this idea, I maybe worked on the idea kind of for a week and then I launched it and really just started blogging. I kind of fell in love with entrepreneurship and really started to realize that there aren't a lot of people, not just in the technology industry in general, but that are creating businesses. And every day I'm reading XYZ company raises, you know, millions of dollars. Why aren't any of them black? New Me is an accelerator. and. Think about an accelerator like a training program for people who don't really fit into like this pedigree that the technology industry looks for. And so we look for non-traditional founders, entrepreneurs. I don't really care what someone's background is. What I care about is if they have the drive to be successful. And so before, you could only do that in a 12-week residential program. Now you can do that. You can actually join our platform online. Or you can come out to San Francisco like you know we are today and participate in a one-week residential accelerator. A residential accelerator is basically a boot camp. And entrepreneurs come to Silicon Valley and they live and work together all day, every day. So it's not like a nine to five where you stop at five o'clock. Many times they're working into like three o'clock in the morning on their ideas. The whole goal is for it to be an intensive experience and for them to come in at one point and leave at another point closer to their goal. So what I was gonna suggest is we work, finish out some of the marketing stuff, maybe turn some Facebook ads on if that's what you wanna do and see how they perform. Then you really just need to let that work in the background and you guys can go do whatever until Kirby um, comes here, which will be at six. My concern is that you guys will lose momentum and things will fall off mm -mm, I'm going after it. Um, when you leave. That's what I don't want to happen. So the, the Facebook stuff, what I can do is I can schedule maybe a general session where I can like share my screen and you guys can see what you, what you need to know how to do. But the only thing that you're gonna have to have ahead of time, which you guys basically have already, is your landing page stuff. Mm -hmm. And then also um, your interests for your business. We started in 2011, and since then, we've helped entrepreneurs raise over $20 million. So we've had some success. And so a lot of that funding is coming from investors in Silicon Valley or angel investors. People can sign up for New Me by going to our site, newme.in, not .com, .in, and it's free to join. So we have a lot of great sessions that are coming up. The state of diversity is still bleak, but we've come a long way. When I first got to the Bay Area in 2011, when I was starting New Me, it was really bad. I mean, if you were in a room at a startup event, you I knew all the other black people in there. Now, I went to a startup event the other day, I don't know most of the people that are in the room. So it's getting better, but we still have a long way to go. Do we need to make tech cool? Short answer, yes. When most people think of tech, they think of you know a young white guy in a basement coding. And that's not sexy, it just isn't. Like nobody wants to be that. So I think this is where the power of media actually comes into play. If we can show different images of people that look like me or act like me and aren't trying to be something that they're not, that's real powerful. P then people feel like they belong. Black Twitter is very powerful. It is, it's really like a social movement in terms of how it's able to push the, the needle and, and make change kind of in our society as a whole. In terms of how do we move past that, Black Twitter right now is a lot about consumption versus creation. So people are consuming, they're tweeting, they're engaging, producing content, etc., memes, what have you, around whatever topic. But we need to start being creators and creating the platforms, not just that black folks are on, but that everyone is on. That's how we actually, I feel like, change our culture, our society by creating wealth that 
reinvest back into our community. A lot of people do want to run their own tech companies. The issue I have with funding is most people think, I have an idea, I need money. And that's not how it works. If you have an idea, you still need to get that idea developed, vet it out, get validation before you can actually convince an investor to invest in you. That's the key piece that a lot of people are missing. Tech is male dominated. So some tips for black women who want to get into tech is to own it. I mean, our speaker dinner last night, we were all talking about confidence and how important it is to be confident. And I think black women have a lot of stereotypes being, you know, maybe too assertive, being hard to work with. Some of those things can be seen as negative in, in some industries, but as long as it's with, with, within reason, I really just feel like it's your commanding respect. Advice for those who are looking to become an entrepreneur, this is like, you know, the, the key question. It's really just to do it. A lot of people, matter of fact, entrepreneurs I'm working with now in this cycle, they get so stuck on planning or not being able to foresee what's in the future. But a lot of entrepreneurship, you do need to, ha need to have a plan, but you need to execute at the end of the day so that you can get back whatever feedback, data, et cetera, so that you can now make other decisions. A lot of times we just get stuck in the idea phase of I have an idea and we don't actually get out there and do it.